Hello and welcome back to the another video of the Java tutorial series. So today we will be starting our first project, uh, project number one, banking application. So, so in this video, I will be discussing about the setup about this project, and we will be covering the first M, uh, M functionality of the project that is the deposit. Okay. So let me just get into the, into my IDE, and I will uh, creating the new class name as banking application. Oops, sorry. Banking application. Okay, and let me increase the font size. Yes, and I will include my public static void main. Okay, and inside main, uh, this project required input from the user, so that's why I have to import the scanner class also. And I will be using this new keyword scanner system dot in so okay basic stuff now i know we have the not covered started oops concepts uh, so that's why uh, you will at some point you will not get some concept so bear with me i will be telling you what those concepts are okay uh, so this is pretty much about the setup okay and now since we are doing all this, uh, let me show you, uh, all this deposit, withdraw, we get via transaction, show menu and execute our code, all this functionality in a one place. So I guess this is the right time to introduce you with the oops concept known as method. Okay. So uh, I will uh, oops concept of method and class. Okay. So I will create another class known as the banking uh, bank account uh, which is more appropriate I guess a double c bank account okay uh, okay so this is nothing but I have created one uh, another class name as bank account where I will be uh, covering all those functionality in inside this class and we will create one object of this blank bank account class inside this banking application class okay uh, oops i have written this class inside class that is error. okay now it's okay okay so this is one class our public class and inside which our main method uh, is there and this is another class where we will be uh, covering all these functionalities which are required in the uh, app, uh, project okay so inside this uh, I will show you how this class and object stuffs are created. So bear with me. And for first uh, functionality of our project is deposit. So we will be covering that first. Okay. For so you you so you are pretty much aware about this. Uh, for depositing the value uh, something uh, money inside our account, we 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 need one variable which is known as balance because we are updating that balance after deposit occurs inside our uh, account okay and we will require another variable known as name as previous transaction uh, which will hold uh, the value uh, value and the information about the transaction that happened in inside past current uh, recently okay so i will be uh, creating those two variables name as balance and another one as previous transaction okay uh, and now I will create one method uh, so this method uh, doesn't return anything so that's why I have written void uh, I know you are not getting some concept uh, what is void what is int okay uh, not int int you know what is that is data, data type and void and my method name is deposit Okay, and my method is going to accept one way, one, one uh, parameter that is amount. Okay, amount. So method is nothing but one particular uh, uh, instruction of the lines of the codes, which will execute, uh, which will you will require again and again for the execution, and then those uh, set of instruction you are write, write inside of one method, and you will call that method again and again to perform that uh, task okay so we will be covering in depth about the methods what are, what are their types in the oops concepts for but for now uh, you know 
you know what is uh, methods okay uh, we will we will be creating one method known as deposit and inside that method i will be writing now uh, if i want to deposit my money i have to check uh, whether my amount that is uh, given by the user and this is the uh, uh, parameters that this method will be accepting this method will accept amount that uh, which is given by the user to deposit inside that bank account okay so i will be checking whether my amount is not equals to zero okay so this uh, if the user user inputs uh, given input as zero so that doesn't make sense because zero cannot be added inside the bank account okay that doesn't make any sense so we are checking one base uh, base 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 condition over here whether my amount amount which is given input by the user should not be equals to the zero okay if it is not equals to zero this uh, if condition is evaluated that true and inside that uh, i will update my balance okay so my i will tell balance is equal to plus amount okay i will update my balance variable and i will have also update my previous transaction variable as amount okay and so that tells that my previous transaction uh, which done by the user is the amount that means the deposit to the bank account okay so this is pretty much about this and okay uh, so in the upcoming videos we will be covering the withdraw withdraw functionality uh, withdraw functionality and the get previous transaction and the show many functionality okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one